Tonight's top tip is all about identifying the different types of workings in the old gold fields. So, we're out here at a place called Old Tom's Mine in the Whipstick, and we're going to show you what the surfacing is, what some of the reef working or the big mine workings were, and some of the shallow alluvial gullies, which are all great spots to head if you've got a metal detector. Now, the first thing we do when we get out our map, I'm going to show you on the map what the actual bit of surfacing looks like. So you can see in front of my pointer there, that area there and the one behind it are what we call a surfaced area. Now a surfaced area is an area that has been strip mined. Now surfaced areas do get fairly well hit with metal detectors, but they are great spots because we know the ground is shallow. So what we'll do now, we've shown you on the map what the surfaced area looks like and we'll show you in real life. This is the patch that we are actually looking at on the map. We can see how it's all the gullies are coming down or the gutters are coming down from the hillside and the red clay that's showing is actually the bedrock. In this area here, the gold was so rich that the old miners didn't bother to dig little holes. They came through and literally took the whole surface off and washed that to get the gold out of. So surfacing, that is one of the spots that you see on the Dugstone gold map and a great spot to go prospecting. We've seen what a surface patch is. Let's have a look at our next type of working. We're looking for reef mines or the deep mines where the gold was contained within the quartz rock. This is what it looks like on the map and we're going to show you an example of what it looks like on the ground. If I look back here over my shoulder, I can see the big heap up the back there. That is a discard pile from when they've been extracting the quartz or white rock out to take away and crush at a battery. Now, they're great spots to look around because lots of pieces of gold were still in the quartz and got discarded because it showed no colour when the old timers were viewing it. And on top of that, we can see here, we have a costume. And a costume was dug when the old miners knew there was gold in the area, but they were looking for the actual source or the reef a long channel cut across a hillside, usually going east to west, so that it would cut across any north-south reefs that happen to be in the area. So the costine down here, great spot again to look at. The old timers may not have got onto the reef, but sometimes there'll be little pieces of gold that were discarded out of that, or the reef they found may not have been payable or had enough gold in it for the old timers to be bothered working it. So that's reef and Costine, another fantastic spot to have a look for some nuggets. The last type of working that I'm going to show you is the old miners' shallow alluvial workings. This is depicted on the map here by this red area. So this is lots of little potholes that are in the ground and again, fantastic spots to look for gold. Now let's have a look at them in real life here. And you can see here we have a number of heaps around and little potholes dug all the way through this gully. These were the old alluvial workings that the old miners would dig through the overburden to get to the wash dirt. Once they got down to the bottom of the hole where the wash dirt was, if they happened to throw a shovel full out onto the heap, then they didn't concentrate on what went on the heap. They got back into their hole, dug out all their wash dirt and processed that so they could then go on and dig another hole in the hope of finding a big one. These kind of places are good because if the bottom of the hole ended up being the top of the heap, most of the gold that got thrown out was fairly close to the surface. By going over it with a metal detector, we pick up those pieces that the old timers missed and we're getting plenty of gold still from the old workings. Well, hopefully tonight's top tip has given you some good ideas on what to look for and how to locate these places, both on the map and out in the field. Certainly all of the spots that we've shown you today, whilst we've been out here, are top places to go get yourself a nugget.